When one mother in Winnipeg caught a much less calm scene on her camera in her family's dining room last night. We all know hockey fans can get a little worked up about a game, but one three-year-old girl fell to pieces over something that happened last night, and her tears were so mournful, even her favorite team, the Winnipeg Jets, have noticed. Crystal Gamansing has the story. Left side is a Fans know there's nothing calm or gentle about the game. And on Thursday, when the Winnipeg Jets hit the ice, there was thrashing. Why are you so sad? Because you have It was a fit worthy of a five minute major. Bianca's favorite, Andre Pavluk, was warming the bench. Al Montoya was between the pipes. The three year old didn't like it, and her five year old sister. Couldn't console her. Montoya is a good jet too. Yeah, he's a good jet. He's a good Let's jet. give it a try tonight, okay? And Pav will play the next game. Well, I was crying too <laughs> at the press box because I, I couldn't play. Right. Pavlik felt for his little fan and her major meltdown. <laughs> You know, they love the sport, they love the hockey, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. The video was shot by Bianca's parents and posted online. A friend of the family shared it with the Jets. And from there, the many fans' cries have been heard all over the country. I was just trying to listen to the game. <laughs> it was really noisy in the, in the dining room. I realize now, I'm like, oh yeah, that was sort of a parenting fail instead of comforting. <laughs> My little child, I like videotaped it. Al Montoya, <laughs> well, he can't believe his play brought a child to tears. I have a little girl of my own, so that's the, uh, one of the cuter things I've seen this year. The Jets have issued a preemptive strike. So I got the message for, uh, for Bianca. I mean, uh, well, I'm going to play tomorrow, so uh, hopefully you're going to watch the game and, uh, and uh, enjoy it. So no tears in the Simon home Saturday, although Bianca may be too busy watching her personal message. Okay. <laughs> Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Winnipeg.